Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network Hot Take. If you haven't seen a hot take before, well, it's where a few friends get in a basement, give our thoughts, give our opinions on a TV show, a movie, or a game. Today, it's going to be a movie, and that movie is The Suicide Squad. Here to discuss, as always, the triple threat, Chris Trio. It's good to be here, Gooch. How are you? Good, man. Good. Good. Excited to talk a little The Suicide Squad, not to be confused with Suicide Squad 2016's own. Correct. Um, I we haven't reviewed a DC thing since Snyder Cut, so... Oh, uh, yeah, well, I guess this is the first DC movie to come since? out and like... Yeah, but even before, like... I was like, does Snyder Cut count as a normal movie? Probably yeah, not, sort right? of, but like, I'm trying to think what came... Uh, maybe Aquaman? Was that the last DC movie before this? Or Shazam? Or Birds was it Shazam? Prey. Oh, duh. That was the last one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. So Harley was in two technically back-to-back. Um, forgive our setup. We usually don't do this with the two, but we recorded a re three, which you can listen on podcast services and YouTube channel. We were a little Absolutely. lazy. We just we didn't, didn't feel like switching, yeah, so we're we doing just, we're doing it a little different today. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, the Suicide Squad does it a little different, so I feel like it's very applicable. Um, good one. Yeah, thank you, uh, Gooch. Let's just get into it, man. Just high uh, base level thoughts. Did you enjoy the film? Were you befuddled? What What did you think? This was great. I really enjoyed the Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's as James Gunny as you can get, uh, knowing what we know from Guardians, but also knowing what we know from James Gunn other other films like Slither, some of his earlier stuff. I'm uh, more horror uh, oriented stuff. Obviously, right? the yeah. R rating. We get to curse more. We get to have more guts and gore, and I think that really. They take advantage Caters to what Suicide Squad actually is, um, whereas you know our uh, David Ayer's Suicide Squad is PG thirteen. We don't get the fucks and the f bombs and the and the blood and the gore that I think kind of like bring Suicide Squad onto like a Deadpool level. Well, especially in the way of like these are villains we're dealing with, so you think they're not really too concerned with if they're causing some blood going anywhere. Right? Sure, but uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, I I really liked it. There are a few things I think are egregiously like that was like this could have been done better and it's it, and it, it's something with a with the villain not starro okay um i kind of looked at it and i was like this was stupid it um if it's who i think it is i think i have a major disagreement with you okay but yeah i'm very curious yeah but i think other than that i don't really have anything too critical to say i, I enjoyed it you know it, it it it's what you expect and it's better than the original. Obviously, we got to say that. I'm I think not gonna, it takes a steaming I, log on the original. We're not going to talk about the original. Obviously, we you know check, it was. Did we do a hot take for that? The 2016 suicide. Squad? I would imagine. No, I don't. That might have been before DNN. It might have been because we started four years ago in this coming December, I think, and mm. that would be 2021. So I think we would have started that year after DNN. But still, yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I think that's correct. But um. Yeah, I think I said this too early. I think this is one of the best DC movies, it, it, like truly, like okay. in, in the way of like I a <laughs> whole a whole comment. <laughs> no, yeah, like I really think it it knows what it wants to be. You have a director with a singular vision that knew what he wanted to do and the tone he wanted to go for and the the things he wanted to and the themes he wanted to explore, and I think he does it incredibly well. James Gunn has a voice. He's a bit of an auteur, in my opinion. Like in the like, I think yeah, he's starting. You know sure. his style when I feel like you're watching it. And right. I think it really shines through. I think the squad that we get is so out there, but still rings like I don't know in a it rings in a very good way and rings in a very interesting way. We get characters that I would not have expected, and I think that they make interesting. And, and I would never have seen that coming. Uh, I like seeing some new characters that I really don't know much about, like Bloodsport. Uh, one thing I, I I do have a bit of a gripe with his storyline that we I guess can get into I, more in spoilers. Um, I think I know what you're gonna say. And it's but other than that, Idris Elba is so good in this. And if dude, you know who was my favorite? Truly, Joel Kinnaman, Rick Flag. Dude, he was Joel's great. He was so fucking good in this. And I'm actually like sad we're not getting a show with him after this. Instead of, like, <laughs> instead of Peacemaker. Instead of Peacemaker. And actually, I, I liked Rick Flagg in the original, and I like him in this one. I, I think I they really, really kind of nail him in this one. Like, I like the way he's presented as this guy. He's working with these guys. He was, Like, when he meets Savant at the beginning, and he shakes his hand. He's like, sir, how you doing? Like, he treats them with, like, a bit of respect, where I feel like Waller doesn't. And I think he does that because, obviously, like, he's working with these people on a day-to-day -day basis. He's trying to keep them alive just as much as... He's also a leader. And he's also a leader. And I, I just think he was 
surprisingly one of the standout characters for me. I mean, Margot kills it of in course, this. Yeah. As I mean, there's nothing more to say there, but like one thing I would say with Harley Quinn, I think her progression going from Suicide Squad to Birds of Prey to this is really good. No, I think it's coherent. Yeah, absolutely. It's like it's, it's, whether it's really intended or not, I think her like natural progression of her where she is in life is very good. And dude, her costume. That I mean, even I think what's his James. I Gunn wish said, we would have saw more longer. of that first one. I yeah. think that one where she gets on the plane and she's got she's like the, the leather dress, on and everything. A little too long. I agree. And actually, so I watched this back twice, and, and yeah. the second time, I will say the part that drags the most for me is her kind of side plot line when you kind of go off with her for a moment. Right. But uh. Yeah, man, I think they did a really. He just he knocked it out of the park for me on this one. Yeah, they really a, a, did, as expected. Yeah, no, right, it's like, like, like really, it would have like blown this, me this away if this had was bad. some a bar, a high yeah, bar, absolutely. With, and with James Gunn being one, the Guardians of the Galaxy director, he's doing another team silly comic book movie. It's ensemble. It's his, it's his wheelhouse. Yeah, no, it right? absolutely nothing it absolutely about is. this like was it risky like oh james gunn doing this that's crazy like no this no is, that's not this is but i will butter. i but i will give it to him he took some risks on the characters that he chose to put in this like yeah. i think in the way of, like with polka dot man, man rat, rat catcher, catcher two peacemaker peacemaker fucking blood sport but apparently all, he's only listers apparently he's all like i think blood sports like a, a z lister like he's like from like the dark d he's not even like a regular comic book like character character i think no. like he's None like in the dc are. dark universe like and polka dot man's just like a stupid little side character that batman sometimes faces off against right um who else i mean king shark savant savant guard weasel all of them it's so many just like weird and crazy cat and boomerang I mean, nah, I mean, Captain Boomerang's a B-lister. He's, you're right. I would give that to uh, after, Actually, with, with Flash. I would say he's an A-lister. He's an villain. A-lister for Flash. But I guess, like, I'd be curious Boomerang how many, like... Boomerang is in most iterations of the Suicide Squad. No, absolutely. Then. And it was nice to see them bring back some of these characters. And, like, it's weird because they were, like... I mean, this is the same universe. Oh, it by the way, this is a fucking sequel. It, it absolutely... Well, it's, it's 100% a it's, sequel. It's, it's a soft reboot, in my opinion, in a no, way of I like, call it that. but it's but it but it doesn't follow up on anything from the first movie. No. Besides having the same characters from that first it movie, it follows up on the relationships, and that's all you need to. You, but even so, but sort of like I guess sure sure to a degree. So if they make another Suicide Squad. I doubt we're gonna reference this one. Why would we need to? No, you're but like I agree, especially if it's a different team with a few of the characters coming back. No, you're like, absolutely right. And like that's what this one does. It's like, oh, like we had another mission before Harley and, and Boomerang and know Flag, each other. they all have like a like a clear relationship. No, I agree with that. I guess it's just it does like I guess you're right in the way if you don't necessarily have to reference that last one a lot, but it does feel like much more of a soft reboot to me than like a continuation with but even James Gunn was talking about it in like when he was talking about casting this and things like that. He's like Listen, there were just too many good castings in this first movie. Like Margot Robbie, obviously. I mean, they wanted Will Smith back for this, but he just had scheduling conflicts. That's the only reason he wasn't in it. Bloodsport is clearly dead. It's just shot. a complete analog for him. And yeah. apparently, there's it's clearly written if you for have dead you shot. seen the uh, the uh, fuck what's the word the the pictures they draw <laughs> to the concept art concept. Thank you. The concept art uh, with Deathstroke. Yeah, yeah. So they were thinking yeah. about him. I did see. Uh, which apparently, if they could have gotten Joe Manganiello back, they oh, might have brought him in. You know, he would have. Uh, and then I mean, yeah, we we got all these other people with Mongal and all this stuff. But I, I just think like I, I had so much fun with this movie, and it was two hours and ten minutes, and it didn't drag for me, which is rare no, for me. It didn't, it didn't drag I, I really feel like me. most of the time with me these days, I'm like they could have shaved fifteen off this movie most of the time. I really feel like okay. I kind of fall into that, but I felt like it moves at a clip. It explores things from the comics that I just never thought in a million years that we would see on on like the big screen with I mean Starro even at like <laughs> yeah true like, you I would just never see him going up against the Justice I really, League well but yeah you I wouldn't just, see that that's what I mean and I just uh, even the way they tackle him in this kind of more adult way and how his like stuff and how that stuff works it's very interesting and it's it's a funny ass movie too and I don't think it's funny in the way like <laughs> Marvel is funny. And the, like it, it is funny. I would agree with you. Like it's it's a different type of of comedy. comedy. Just even it's like a the, different type of humor. Like the way Flags delivering that scene after the big fuck up, and like he's talking to the one girl, and he's just yeah, like the, the resistance fighter. They're fucking idiots. I don't like. I don't know. It's just there's really <laughs> good moments where I it just get. There was one part I can't wait to talk about in uh in spoilers, but it I, I was I noticed something as the movie was going on. I'm like, why is this happening? And then later in the movie. 
it's it's like uh what's the word acknowledged in a very funny way and i was like that that was an amazing payoff but i mean i think overall it sucks this didn't make great money and even in the even in the way of like the pandemic i think it made like 20 it's funny though i saw people saying this bombed it made 23 it when it should have made bomb. 30 million it, especially in the covid stuff and with this delta shit it's going also on. on hbo max Shut and it's on hbo up. max go out to the movie and see it but um see it. yeah gigs. i think so too i, I absolutely the would say go that. support the theaters uh just overall i think this was a fucking <laughs> fantastic time at the just movies. Call it, i was like you fucking dicks and you fucking dicks let's talk about let's yeah i mean everything you said is great but let's talk about Sylvester Stallone's Oscar-winning performance as King Shark. Can we talk about how how funny just Sylvester Stallone being in this movie is? It's very degrading <laughs> it for an actor of his character well, and he, caliber, and I love, love it. Love that he did it. No, yeah. I, no, I don't love that he did it. I love that like he is Sylvester Stallone reduced to... And <laughs> and like and, oh, 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 and like he's like, like me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like those like that's what Sylvester Stallone is doing in this movie. It's hilarious because it's just like in a way it's like Sylvester Stallone reduced to this. Well, huh? you know, but you know, <laughs> he called him. He was like, "Hey, silly, uh, we'll give you a million dollars to come in and do a day's worth of voice acting." And he was like, "Okay." One thing I'll, I'll say about King Shark, I really like. He's a C lister, B lister for all intents and purposes. Absolutely. I l have loved seeing King Shark done so differently by every single who... iteration. Harley, uh, uh, the Harley Quinn show. Very Obviously, different. it's a comedy, but yeah. very different. Our look is kind of the same. I was going to say, it literally looks like the exact same look. Yeah. Like, I like how it was like kind of... It's like this. St even when he runs, it's kind of funny the way he like runs. Like, like yeah, he kind of like... And yeah. dude, the CGI... Like the way the light reflects off like his scales and like his like fins and it looks really way and better than I and feel it's like very support. like simple. Yeah, the design for King Shark is very simple and like look at him in Flash, very very different. There's very like muscular. a lot kind of going on and on e him. Even yeah, the, the origin is different. Uh, he's different in the Suicide Squad game that's coming up. Yeah. He, he's different there and Assault on Arkham. Like every version of King Shark has been so different. I got I got to like call that out and like get some give appreciation. Yeah, no, give him that, definitely some nobody's props. been like, "You know what? We're going to use that interpretation of King Shark was really good. Let's do that." Like yeah. nobody's really done that. Suppo I guess he was uh, Gun was also talking in uh pre in interviews how they were they had concept art for like the hammerhead design. Yes. But yeah, he was like, like it's just we get, tough we have to different like, shark yeah, design. Yeah. There's like but apparently it was just too hard to get him to emote with that which I get. I right, mean, you have the two, yeah, the eyes all out here. Uh Yeah. But no, he looks great. I think the way he's used is awesome. Yeah. And I mean, he's, he's kind of like this like grounding point for the cats for like rat catcher. Absolutely. And, like, the rest yeah. Of the team. And, and I, I think he's just well imp implemented and definitely like, I don't want to bring back the, but Suicide Squad, the first one, why they just made Killer Croc, just this regular sized man with a skin deformity basically is beyond me. Like, why would you not go that? Like, I don't know. It just, I think this was the way to go. I get wanting to go practical, and that's what David Ayer said in the first one with Killer Croc, but I think this is the way those characters... I mean, the same way they want to do Swamp Thing practical, right? Well, yeah, but I think like, it's the same... But I do think Swamp sort of Thing works... Logic. I mean, I guess if you get a big actor like that to maybe... Like, that's the thing. Maybe they needed a bigger actor. Because when you... With Swamp Thing, you have... That guy's six foot three... And he is big, like he. I mean, he fills out most of that prosthetic himself. It's more of a sure. layer over him. Whereas, right, like, but Killer Croc is always fucking huge. That's I mean, what I'm but saying. But look at him in the animated series. He's pretty. Killer Croc in the animated series is like pretty normal sized. And yeah, like he's like a big normal. Yeah. He's, he's more like, of like a big kind of bruiser guy in right, that, right? Is and it, he yeah. looks kind of like a crocodile. Excellent. Yeah. And then like before, sometimes he's just this huge crocodile monster. Like again, oh, like Killer Croc has kind of been like it's always those bigger like. Not animal like characters, but the characters who are like the bruisers. No, they kind of are. They usually are. Yeah. Even like a, like a bane or something. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, one one thing I loved about this movie, I gotta say, was the Waller's team. The, the, oh like, yeah, her support. They felt so much more like real people doing a job. Like that. Also, Slice. Waller's in a very different circumstance in this movie well, than she's in the original. But that's something to take. But note I of. also that's why I feel like this is a bit of a soft reboot in the way of like this Bell Reeve looks so much less technical than the Bell Reeve of the one from could before. be a different wing. No, sure, I, but like I, even though, I, I hear you. But you but. know, but even like the technology, she's. I love that she uses like the briefcase with the buttons that you flick up and then you have to press it. Like there are certain stylistic choices in this that I just think 
work a little bit better for me and just like they're a little bit more grimy and a little bit more fun and even the part at the beginning when they're all taking bets on like who's gonna die yeah, that's fun again it makes it feel like a real live place whereas i felt like her team in the first one wasn't was non-existent wasn't she shoots them all at the end and you don't even know about like her support team um but that was one thing I truly love, and even that the the, the and two. And Viola Davis comes back and does Waller just as good kicks as she did in, ass. in, in the original. Absolutely like, kicks ass. She really is awesome. There's a lot of r- more rage from her too. No, you, she's she's a she's a stone cold b i t c h. She loves it. Like, and I really appreciate that they committed. Even when she's like yelling, like at the turn the fuck around, like you hear it in her voice, and she she is really awesome. You couldn't get a better fucking. Uh, pick for that if you tried so what did you think of our opening scene with the you know with obviously we have a lot of uh, characters that get killed almost immediately. yeah no so i uh, there was one out of that that i true i didn't see coming blackguard uh, no that one I, well so Pete were, davison being like p davison so all like, the pe- most of the people who died i was like absolutely i knew that was coming that's that really blew me up so yeah we'll yeah. get into spoilers we'll talk spoilers now because we'll start getting into deaths i mean this is literally in the first scene of the movie yeah. but it's before the title card even rolls uh so you start out you see savant and you're in prison with him and they kind of i like <laughs> i love how he starts with rooker no yeah, i, I mean, did too he's in like every movie there was something made. i saw online that i was like that's a bit of a stretch but i guess that's interesting interesting if it's true he kills that canary at the beginning it's apparently because i guess black canary put him in jail that was that's supposed to be like the really the process, i guess oh wow so that's but I, I knew i saw kid- someone like tweet that it might be both but i think that's, a, that's a fair i that's like a fine. it i like it but i think they do a good job of getting you right back in they're like all right like they run you through this montage with him. He's getting right, the fucking get thing. Exactly. They, they talk about how you know, you know, get in there. If you don't, if you come out, we're gonna shoot you. I mean, if you abandon the mission, we're gonna shoot you. Ten, ten, ten years, years off your, your sentence. sentence. Bing, bang, boom. We're in it. Then he gets off. He meets Flag, and we see the this the B Suicide Squad. I would say almost in the way of you got Javelin, you got TDK. <laughs> the scene when he's asking him, TDK, what does it stand for? It's my name. He's like. Your name is Lettuce? Lettuce is He's like, like all, all names, names are Lettuce, Lettuce. dickhead. <laughs> so yeah. the way he says All names are Lettuce, you dickhead. <laughs> it's yeah. so uh, Your and name even like, is Lettuce. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't know why. Who is Flula, Flula Bore. Who he, the fuck is that? He's like a weird comedian. I follow him on Instagram. He's on Conan all the time, too. I, I He's he's silly and hilarious. I don't know. I, I really is like him. Is he New Zealand? No, he's German, I think. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, you see Javelin, you got TDK, you got Blackguard, you got Captain Boomerang, Flag, Mongal. Harley, Mongal, all these people, and they are going on to this beach. Weasel. <laughs> That's another. So we get to the drop zone, and again, this is where it points to that thing of I feel like it's a real team. Weasel jumps out and just drowns I immediately. Wish, here's my issue with Weasel. I wish they didn't pull him to the beach. I wish he just, I wish he just floated. Yeah. He's fucking drowned. But like, I love like when they go like, did anyone check if the weasel could swim? And then they're all just like, like oh shit. Oh, I didn't check that. Was that? I thought that was, was that your job. job. Like, yeah. It's it's like little stuff like that that was really great. But you just get on this beach. Blackguard sells him out. Which like, what does he think's gonna happen? Like, <laughs> your head blown it's, off. It's such a like Pete Davidson thing. Oh, it absolutely. I mean, it's like, like just the way like I guess they they like wrote that character. I feel like fit him very well. And even like even like with Nathan Fillion as TDK, I I think it's even the same exact way. I, I love that little moment when they're getting on the plane and he's like he's like no, you put it, you go underneath and then you click it. Now you're safe. And he's like oh thanks man. Like it's just such it's these weird interpersonal like moments that I do think really sell this movie in a weird way. But they're with a team that doesn't even matter by the end of the first fucking, se- at least for the most part. Right. Uh, Boomerang's death was really, I'm like, wow. Well, I'm like, I literally in the theater, I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, they're, they're doing that it. That was one to show you no one is safe. Right. And I truly, the, the people that I didn't think were going to die, there was only one that I didn't think was going to die until the moment that he was about to die. Polka Dot Man? Yeah. yeah. I, it, that was telegraphed a little too much. I was like, oh, he's about to get smashed. And like, yeah. after he goes, I'm a superhero. Again, David Dasmalchen, dude, he's great. He has been th- he's been in Gotham. He's been in the Flash. He was in uh, DC animated properties. He's an Ant Man. He's an Ant Man. Now he's in this. He's yeah. it, like especially with DC properties. He's been like a fucking great he's around. as Cal Under Man in the long. He's Halloween. in Dark Knight. That too. Remember, he's the he's yes. the ambulance guy. Yeah. yeah. No, he. he, he, he uh, Somebody at WB must like him. He's one of those guys. He's, he's like he's one of those guys, but like he's in a lot of WB movies. And I do think, and, and I think shows. it's because he is good. Like I, yeah. he's a, he again. He's and like affordable. I said. He's one of. He's like oh, it's that guy and affordable like, and affordable. Absolutely, and probably just loves to be there and do it. 
But uh, I thought his whole backstory about like the interdimensional like disease eating him up and his cats are released. I, but... I, I was listening to a review and I'm like, what is Polka Dots Man? In, in and the I'm comics, like, he's just a guy with with tech. I don't think it's that. No, <laughs> like, in the comics, he just has a belt that uses like all these different polka dots that do different things. That's it. It's okay. not yeah. So it's nothing really right major at all. Uh, again, I gotta give. He could have probably used that. I mean, he could have used anyone as far as he's been saying. Like, they were like, you can do whatever you want to James Gunn. And the fact that he chose these characters, like a, 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 a polka dot man, a rat catcher too. Right. Yeah, especially and like, the, oh, we're going to bring in the second version, which is a very DC thing. There's a lot of characters who are like in but the But I love that she just arc. calls her rat catcher too. Like, I did. Like, a lot of characters in the DC world are labeled as like the second versions, like yeah. in the Kingdom Come. Like the whole fucking book is twos and threes of characters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's like that's not like weird necessarily. But, no. Um. Yeah. Ratcatcher was awesome. I loved her. Her her actress was great. Her character, I cared about her a lot more than I ever anticipated to. Right. And her, obviously, like again, Bloodsport was supposed to be Deadshot. That's clear. But it's just such day. a fucking. But Idris Elba does a really good job. Well, and and Bloodsport's think... kind of like a, I think, a thing now. So they have the exact kind of father daughter parallel that Bloodshot had from the be or Deadshot. yeah, Deadshot had from the beginning for, right. from the first one. But I do appreciate that they turned it on the head like the way i did not expect that interaction with his daughter to go the way it did when they start screaming like i expected me like what are you doing here honey you shouldn't be like it was like what the fuck are you doing you moron why were you stealing something yeah. why'd you cut like it went a completely different See, I way think that's than a good i expected example of how you're saying it's like a different type of comedy from a marvel movie yeah and also i like again i like you everyone knows i have a gripe with marvel with the comedy it's adult comedy and i think that makes it better no, because I'm not a kid, and I, it's not like a fart joke. Well, that's or like a, it's it's less something of, simple. It's like it's funny because I'm. It's like, going against your expectations. It's right. almost the funny thing instead of just kind of saying something funny. Yeah, it's 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 very interesting. And one thing I didn't lo I loved blood blood sports look, but I did not oh, I love, love the suit. designs of his guns. Really, I, I thought felt that like was some really of them cool. were like some of the weapons like. That one scene when he's going through the camp and he's pulling, and he pulls out like the mace and he's pulling out all his different guns. Very cool. Yeah, him and Peacemaker. But there we was, haven't talked about the Peacemaker. Yeah, really we'll, we'll sure. get to him. Yeah. Um, but I didn't love the design of his actual weapons. They felt like a little bit like kind of cobbled together sometimes. I thought it was kind of cool. Really I did love the bookie. end, like because in the apparently in the comics he has like a pocket dimension that he pulls that all his weapons out of. But in <laughs> this, pretty interesting. but in this, it's he just has all these kind different of weapons all over himself. Which in Borderlands they have like a thing on their mm -hmm. hip and they just like pull weapons yep. out of it. Yeah. But uh and it seems like he uses all these things that he can kind of use as analogs on different like he puts pieces together, right. different guns all like different, different pieces like, all combinations. Which is really cool. Things. And again, I thought that I mean they say in the in the preview the idea of him taking down Superman with a kryptonite bullet or whatever. That's cool background I that you I fucking hate that line from the trailer. Took down Superman with a kryptonite bullet. <laughs> just the just the cut of the line just no, really yeah. annoys me. <laughs> but uh I thought that was just great world building just in a sentence and I think the way they get him in is great. And seeing just Waller go full, like, I don't care. And again, with her team going like, you weren't actually going to like kill his kid, were you? And she's like, you have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is interesting. Wouldn't they know? Well, that's <laughs> maybe I'd assume the idea is maybe they haven't seen her go that far yet. And again, that's why this seems like more of a soft reboot type of universe to me. By the way, I also love how they use Task Force X a lot. The she's name? Like, yeah. She, yeah. Keeps, she always says Task Force X. I don't think they say Suicide Squad once. No, oh, they say it a lot. He's like, I'm not going to be part of your goddamn Suicide, suicide squad. squad. What are we, uh... He's like, that's a pejorative. Uh, suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. That's such a great line. <laughs> I, 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 I always liked no, it. Like, I make fun no, of it, I get, but, but I, always, Will, I always enjoy Will it. Will Smith fucking delivers it. I got to give him credit there. Um, I'm trying to think. Peacemaker. Peacemaker. So he's just a normal dude, right? He's not like super soldier. He likes peace. And he loves peace, and he'd kill men, women, and children to get it. Uh, he he's he only walks, John Cena. No, only well. So apparently, Dave Batista was originally who. <sighs> that would have been good. I can't picture it no. after this. I really no. can't. Like I can't think of him delivering these lines. But uh, I thought he was really he he kind of he really does kind of juggle the line of like earnest and like I'm a sociopathic killer who just wants to kill and peace is my reasoning for doing it. Like the whole scene with like flag near the end, like. I thought oh, it was yeah, very well drive. acted. Yeah, and even, like, I, it was, way, I, I thought it was funny. It was like, oh, he's Waller's guy, yeah, right? On the inside, on the inside, um, yeah. With an ulterior mission than than the rest the size, because or, or not even the ulterior, but the backup, the the mm -hmm. the, the, the uh, 
and just like the idea of putting someone on that team that like ends up who loves their country so much that they're like, no, we need to hide this. And, like, you know, I guess we'll jump to it now. Like, we get the end credit scene, and, you know, we're going to get a Peacemaker show on HBO, which I'm interested to see. I'm not necessarily sold on it. I'm not either. I liked John Cena's performance as it, but I'm just kind of like, where are Again, we Again, I would have rather seen a Ric Flag show. I think it coming out of this. I would have yeah. loved, like, him teaming up with different and villains. And it's funny, now week. that I've seen Altered Carbon season one, since... You know, I never watched Joel it. Kinnaman's. He's a great he's actor. A fucking great. No, he's I really, really. I love. Like I mean, him. RoboCop's not that widely loved, but I love him in in the newer one. Yeah, he's uh, in a show called. Um, he's on an Apple TV show. Oh, is he? Yeah, but uh, I'm trying to think who else we, we've missed here. Uh, I mean, so yeah, but to go back to that first scene, everyone from that first squad dies aside from Harley and Rick Flag. Am I correct? Correct. Well, aside from also the other end credit scene, right, weasel. fucking weasel getting up and shimmying away, <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like making his fucking weird ass. Talk. I gotta say, he was very unpleasant to look at, and I do yeah, think that was, was ugly. it was the point for sure. But yeah. I, and again, the line where he's like, he's like, I'm pretty sure we got him to agree to do this, like, like the whole unsure thing. Starfish. Uh, he's like, anagram, like nickname for Buttle. Any connection? Any, any connection? No. <laughs> also the other like again these the weird overhead like projector like, that was fucking excuse hilarious. me what is that it's an overhead projector do you use it anymore no well then why don't you just move it out of the and then it cuts the king shark it's so good and, and uh i love this scene with the, the weird fish and he's like <laughs> it's so, it's so weird. again that is sylvester stallone i'm <laughs> just doing that so yeah <laughs> It's so insane. Uh, I'm trying to think. What did you think of? Oh, did we run through the whole squad? Let's see. We yeah, talked we, to Ratcatcher. We, we okay. Um, so I did like the idea of the almost. I mean, it's not really a bait and switch. I feel like if you know Ka- Waller's character, you know that the motives aren't great. But the idea that really the kind of the bad guys are Waller and like yeah, the U.S. Yeah, guy, and like the idea of like even like Starro, like he is the bad guy. But, but he's like, kind of being held against his will, being experimented. But then again, on. I'm like, you got captured and you took over those guys. Well, I like, know that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Like, so there's like a you are like, kind of malicious. Yeah, you like, could have like, just let him like, alone. Totally yeah. off the <laughs> off the guard. I did like Star. The design, a mate. I think it looks so good. And dude, the the part where like Thinker brings them down and like shows them that whole fucking thing, and he's like, they're fucking corpses below that star and stuff. So like, that's the they first go real body thinker. horror. Uh, Devoe is the. S- is the second thinker or the first thinker? It's not the flash thinker. Okay. Like that's DeVoe. Gotcha. Um, this is another thinker. He's my issue. That's what I thought you were gonna say. He's my issue. I love him so much in this. It could have been anyone. It could have been any scientist. No, it absolutely but I think I, I don't think the thinker did enough. I think they more did it for the comic book reference than anything. I'm like, it's not like why 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 do they have to recruit the thinker and not just any other scientist? Because I, he I seems to be the most advanced in that. Like he sure. seems to be the most capable of of, of dealing with something like this. Like, You're not shown that. You're told that. Well, sure, but I don't know. But like, I don't get like. What? I, I needed more thinker. I needed more. But thinker. I, think I don't his, know what that means. His but whole I scene more. of him yelling about the fucking U.S. government did like that all was so good for me. But it could have been any other character. I mean, sure, but I think his fits so well there and the idea that they would get this super smart, super advanced guy to take care of this insane alien project for the U.S. government makes complete sense to me. Sure, but it, again, we can... Like, I feel I, like, I feel get, like another, a, get another evil scientist character, put him in. You can slot him in. Yeah, but I, why... But, like, but it's, you, could say, you could say that with Deadshot. You could slide in... Like, why is well, Deadshot? I, that, like, yeah, I, I, like, I, 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 I get what you're saying. I just needed more from the thinker for the thinker to be like, wow, I really like the thinker. I I don't know. I think he... That whole he, he scene is my of him, biggest gripe. him going off and him, like, really yelling at them, like, you think you have fucking... Like, just, I don't know. I think he sells it really well, and I loved Peter Capaldi just in that role. And I loved his design. It was just this weird kind of Hawaiian like shirt and tracksuit. Yeah, it was and a different like his, look. Yeah. yeah. Did you like the Corda Maltese reference? Like, I know we've seen that a lot in Arrow. I don't know if you remember Corda Maltese. Maltese. Is that a, was that a real place? No. It's, it's not. It's a fic- fictional place in the DC universe. But I talk he, about it a lot. Interesting. In Arrow, all like Thea going to Corda Maltese. Maltese like, yeah. They bring it up all the time. Huh. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, uh, I thought the setting was great. Like it felt like an almost like like kind of old war movie. Like you're in like the, the jungle. Beginning is like a Vietnam, Vietnam kind of battle. Yeah, charging the beach, and then even when they're going through like uh, the one the, the camp where they kill, all, I saw that coming too. When they, oh, well, I, I, didn't at all. I knew for well because they like got him, and I was like, those are probably the freedom fighters. And then as soon as they were making their way through the camp, I'm like, oh, they're killing the freedom fighters. What do you think? A of flag shirt. 
I thought it was hilarious. It doesn't say something on it like it was like it says something like in Russian Obstacle, or something. It's Spanish. Our Obstacles Spanish. provide opportunities. Yeah, it's, and it's Bugs Bunny with a Superman cape on. It's it's a shot at Marvel. It absolutely and yeah. And I I as you know, remember the reason this movie is made is because Marvel and Disney tried to cancel James Gunn. Well, the, well they well hold no. Yes. They, yes, it is. Uh, no. Yes, it is. They they wouldn't have done anything if no one came out. The, the, Marvel and they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to get. They knew he's a money maker. The only reason they got rid of him was because of the public pressure. I mean, they didn't cancel him. Like the people canceled him at that point. Yeah. But then everybody and they forgot got about it. But then everybody got over it. I think that's a very interesting situation to like look at cancel culture. And I'm like, James Gunn literally almost got canceled for like. Well, but I mean, that's stupid a, shit. But again, and even like, yeah, and it's funny. I even and saw it's like oh, it's like oh. And I think I remember when it happened at the time, a lot of people talking about it, and it's like... I mean, it doesn't look great when you put all those tweets on a single page. <laughs> like, look right, at that. Right, was like, but like, And he it, was it, tweeting it, a ton of molester. Like, there is a... There is a... People can grow, as they say. You're not... Like, to act like someone who back... The, is, I'm the same right. person and, and I was in like, that time. Oh, they're 10-year-old, 9-year-old, 8-year-old yeah. tweets, and it's like, maybe... And, 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 and it's trying it's to be a shock thing. jock. Like, why shot, are we doing this? people will that, as long as the internet's and existing that's right the now. reason this movie got made no it is and dude dc picked him picked them up right away and apparently he was given the gambit he could have chosen any dc project he want they offered him superman they offered him bat i don't think batman but like he could have chosen basically any i'm sure project they just said do. what would you like to do yeah not you want superman we got superman well no apparently you they want, truly did say uh, flash we got flash they did say though like he he was like yeah they said i could do superman if i wanted to as well they said that like would be interesting like they, they that would be that would have been interesting i, I think this from is, the perspective of like whoever does superman next is living in the shadow of what snyder has done with but, him but because living be in the Henry shadow well yeah but i mean I don't. I don't know. If Superman. It's necessarily I think in Man of Steel is so divisive, and Batman v Superman, and you know everything he's been in. As no, Superman that's true. But I don't know if that necessarily divisive. would like cast the shadow. Yeah, I guess I, I hear what it, you're saying. It's a big. It's a big bar. No, there's I mean, but a, I think a that's. Bar. But I think that's because of Superman, not because of Zack Snyder. Not that I don't love Zack uh, Snyder, but like that's because it's both. Superman. But, More Superman, sure. Uh, overall, I think this movie, like, so Starro, the way they tackle him, just how like, I like that they're like, no, they're dead. Whoever gets starred, they're dead. Because I feel like in an old comic book or something, they kill Starro and everyone pop their star off. They're like, we're all okay. We're good. Like, they left that place a shit show. And, like, yeah. there are a in, lot of dead people Suicide there. Squad fashion. Absolutely. And What would have made that... Sorry. No, no, that was it. I was okay. going to... I lost my train of thought. Continue. Uh, what, I think what would have been interesting is, what if, like, you know, we're fighting Starro, and, like, I think we were t with uh, Penza and Eris and Chris when we went to go see it, and he's like, what if the, suit, what if the Justice League showed up at the end to kill Starro? I like take him down. I'm like that I'm would like, that would be crazy, but also undermine the Suicide Squad. Well, see, I don't. I disagree. Really? Because okay. I don't think Suicide Squad. I don't think they're necessarily usually. I think it works in this, and I think they make it work. But I wouldn't have said that they're the Starro people to take. Like they're not the people you'd call in for Starro. Would be my first guy. Like it makes sense I to me in this age. Well, are. no, I, I think it makes sense to me that they were sent in there from the beginning just to destroy everything. But oh, like, yeah. but like, like, and and even like by the end, she's like, "Oh, I don't care if he's up and out. That's that's turmoil over there. That's good for us. Let him go." Like they would, if they, like that's when the I don't think they are really they're they're a black ops operative. Like even in the first movie when they're like, "We need someone to take down Superman if he goes rogue." That's not the Suicide Squad. That's not the Suicide Squad's a clandestine fucking task force that is sent in on spec op missions and they're allowed to die and you have complete uh, deniability with them. It's a good. It's a good segue yeah. into a point I wanted to bring up. A little ahead of it, but it's okay. We've been kind of all over the place with this one. It's been mm -hmm. good. It's been a good review. Mm -hmm. Leave a like if you're watching on uh, YouTube. You know, uh, we follow greatly us appreciate on, uh, it. Whatever you know, podcast service you're on, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Thanks for thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. What would you like to see from a for another Suicide Squad? Totally different team. Okay. Completely different team. New mission. Deadshot's the leader now, or de de uh, de uh, death? No, Deadshot. No. Will's Blood oh well. Blood so Bloodsport and all of them are done. They got out of it because of that. Because at the end he was like, "You're letting us go, or this gets released on the internet." I mean, Harley's got to come back. No, I think so. It's, well, the, so that's the thing. Harley's got to be in it. Maybe, 
We didn't we didn't talk about flag yet, but and we'll we'll stick on this. Yeah. Point. So I I don't know. I I really don't know. I mean, we, yeah, flag is obviously dead. Dead. <laughs> that was the most. That was that I was didn't the hardest see that one at all. I'm like, oh fucker. That was the hardest. God one to damn take. it, John. And but and even that. John <laughs> but even the scene, like just him at the end, he's like peacemaker. What a joke! And yeah. like the way the blood's what? coming. I like love, I love how he talked. What a joke! Yeah, it's like it was powerful, but it, like flag. It makes me sad that he is gone. Like truly, like that's the thing that I I want. I would love to see. I would have loved to see him back in the movie, and I would love to see a new squad that he has to to take up. But I don't know how you keep it fresh in the way of who dies and who doesn't. I think most of the people that I like I said before that I thought were gonna die in this did. The only one by the end that surprised me was I think flag and then even polka dot man but again that didn't surprise me in the moment I felt like I saw it coming in the moment but I just wasn't gonna I, I wasn't thinking that they were gonna kill him but overall I mean deaths wise I feel like I mostly saw most of them coming would you agree yeah yeah well go back so like you that's going to what do you want to see from another suicide squad you don't you want a new team I want you- a new team I want them to do I want like a spe- like a like I a asked for real spec I, ops. I, I have an idea. I want like a full spec op Suicide Squad mission with yeah Deathstroke with just like I don't know. I'm or trying heavy, to think of a movie more heavy hitters. Yeah, more heavy hitters. But like and and they're taking down like even like I know they would never do it, but Suicide Squad kills the Justice League or something like so that. So that's that's like going that's, into my thing. I would I want one. I want another new director and new writers across the board. Yeah. I think Suicide Squad is a good medium to bring in new faces for each iteration. I don't think James Gunn needs to come back for this. Um, two, um, they're fighting a Justice League member. That would I think that would be awesome. I think that would again raise the stakes of the Suicide Squad. I, I, I don't I don't necessarily think going from the 2016 Suicide Squad to this one necessarily raise the stakes of the team. The threat is better. For sure. And it's definitely a little bit more... They're technically on the same level, threat, like, level-wise. But, I mean, like, this one feels... such a disappointment. But it was such a... It was just a blue sky beam that was going to envelop the world or whatever. Trash, Whereas, like, trash. this... Yeah. yeah just it's just... Trash. This was, I think, more personal, but yet not with Starro. Like, in a way... Like, I don't know how to describe... Like, it is this kind no, of... I, I don't think it was personal, but I feel like it was, like, a, a threat. Like, I, I no, did not think threat, Entranches but, was, like, that much of a threat. Well, technically, Entrancher is more of a threat than what happened in this movie. That's the funny thing. It does, but that's the bad thing about Suicide Squad. The first one, they, they don't, don't make you feel tr- that. They, right. They don't, don't show you that. But even though it's technically this god that's calling down, like, people, like, like, it, it, like a true, yeah, like, I don't even really necessarily remember what was going on, but, like, <laughs> it was supposedly, like, going to destroy the entire city and the entire world or something. I remember it was, like, world ending threat, whereas Starro, they were like, oh, we'll just leave, we'll just leave him go, which. First off, I don't necessarily believe that Waller would have been like, yeah, that's fine. Like, that's definitely not going to come bite us in the ass in America ever. A, a fucking mind-controlling starfish that can make a measurable spawn. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's weirdly more personal, yet it feels more grand than the one that was supposed to be more grand. In my I, I think if we, like, if another Suicide Squad did the same caliber of mission, I think it would get old. Um, I, that's why I think it's like, yo, what if we got... I don't think it needs to be Superman. I'm like, we're getting a game like this, so that's going to be an interesting perspective yeah. coming off of this to get a, a game with a smaller squad that we know, King Shark, Harley, Deadshot, and um, Boomerang. It's a you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's the squad we know. But yeah, I think a totally new squad with Deathstroke. I think Deathstroke should definitely be in it. I think Joe Manganiello's uh, role as Deathstroke with a Snyder Cut has sort of been more canonized now. I think they'd be willing to bring him on to do that. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, and they'd be going well, up. Well, you know, a, he'd be back in an instant if he could. Like, oh, if they yeah. offer him, yeah. And, you know, it would. they go up, maybe we, we do a new leaguer. Maybe it's like Shazam. Maybe Shazam has been like, t- like that, yeah, would be, that would be I interesting. Don't think, I think it would, but like, I don't think they do I don't do think Shazam. it'd be Superman yeah. or Batman. I think it could be anyone else, but I would. maybe we get a new leaguer or something. Maybe, like, we introduce. Yeah, I, or, or, like, the idea that the Justice League disappeared for some reason. And like, there's someone like I don't know someone. Yeah, I don't. I I, I like I like that idea. I think that could work yeah, very well. I, I think like the stakes are bigger. It's a bigger movie. We have a new opportunity to introduce a new squad. Like who knows? I think keep sticking with these obscure characters too. May you know 
maybe we do Killer Frost. She's a big staple in the Suicide Squad, and we haven't really seen a movie version of her. Maybe yeah. it's the, I think it's Lori Lincoln, not the Caitlin Snow version. Yeah. We get the, a different version of Killer Frost. I mean, it could be Caitlin Snow. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd, it'd be a cool opportunity. I think Suicide Squad does have a future, um, but I think it won't be in the hands of James Gunn. And I don't necessarily want it to be in his hands. Yeah, I don't. I think he would be fine to bring back. I liked it, but like I want. I think Suicide Squad again is a good analog for like new blood, not new blood necessarily, but like different people to write a different team. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no. Well, different people. And it does. It does allow for more contained story. Like you're saying, you don't have to reference that other Suicide Squad nearly as much. Right, but it can. It's still. But obviously, can right. But you're not as tied down by say whatever. What happened happened in Man of Steel one that affects Man of Steel two? You know what I mean. If that were ever to ha- come to pass, right? But yeah, uh, and it's like it's a shame David Ayer kind of got robbed of doing Suicide Squad, Squad the way it run it. Has where to he re- wanted to release the Ayer cut. Let's see it happen. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool, especially with like you know he's been releasing stuff too. Like he's more in it than Snyder was publicly, but like I don't know, man. It could happen. Why not? I think they're completely fed up with the whole Snyder fan base. And like, I just, and apparently Justice League didn't make enough money at all. Like, they didn't get the streams they wanted and stuff. So I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say never, but you heard 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 that. uh, Mr. Sunday Movies and stuff was talking about it. And apparently, and so was uh, Heavy Spoilers and things like that. Uh, Really? Yeah. So apparently, it just didn't do the numbers that they were hoping. And because they can tell when you're watching it. From the same dude, a lot of people, from the same account. A lot of people were talking about but it. But were they watching it all the way through? Does it matter? Yes. They check if if you've it's completion. That's how Netflix does it. But like it too. you're still subscribing. Doesn't matter. It, it, it matters what people are watching too. I mean that partly matters, but it matters more as if it's getting views. And from different I'm, But I'm not saying like the air cut needs to be four hours long. I oh, think no, be, no, 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 absolutely not. I think Zack co- Snyder's a different, Listen, different head case. I'm not going to say never after after the Snyder cut coming out, came out. Yeah, but I really think right can. now I am leaning towards the fact that that's not going to happen. And I'm pretty secure on that on that front. But I will happily eat my sock if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, is there anything else on the Suicide Squad, Gooch? I'm getting pretty hungry, to be honest. Favorite DC movie, huh? One of my favorite in recent memory. Absolutely. I think it's up there with Here, the Dark Knight and stuff for me, Here's too. my thing. This movie tonally just can't compete with Man of Steel, BBS, Snyder Cut for me. Just can't even come close. Sure. It's just like the not like there's a clear. I clearly like that tone more. This like even though there's a really good movie, I wouldn't even put the two in the same room. Yeah, I just yeah, I'd have to uh, all agree to disagree with you on that one. I think yeah. it's definitely up there with my Dark Knight, Man of Steel. Even Shazam, I really I watched that the other night again with Meredith, and I actually forgot. Shazam much, holds up. I love. I really do enjoy that movie. Um, oh, God, yeah, it might you. be top. I got scared. I'm like, what the fuck's that noise? Oh, yeah. It's your pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, I think that's where I'm at. I'm gonna say low tier film. I think low tier film. Luke Kenny review score. Go check out our Brendan Fraser thon review. Where Fraser thon. We got to remember to do this every movie. Mm-hmm. I would say low tier film is acceptable and I would agree with it. I would also say high tier movie. All right. I think like that again, we're like it it's it's, it's teetering it's, for you. It's there. Yeah, yeah I would definitely say low tier film for me. It's just there. Will yeah. it be the Oscar Award winning Suicide Squad directed by David Ayer? Who knows? <laughs> Will it win an Oscar? That's a that's the question. Will that win an Oscar for costume or something, right? Costume and makeup. Which it, I think it really No, deserves. they did have really yeah. good costumes. they had you some know, good Harley Quinn's first appearance wins an oscar yeah it's no, pretty, it's interesting. It's pretty substantial absolutely well guys thank you so much if you're watching live with us on twitch.tv slash delk under network we very much appreciate it you can find this podcast everywhere podcasts are found just search delco nerd network we're on all your favorite social media sites at delco nerds we got a facebook page we got a discord group where we talk about dc stuff from time to time you can come hang out and have some fun uh, we also have an email address, delco nerds at gmail.com. You can email us our, any comments, questions, or concerns that you may have. We'd be happy to reach back out to you. Uh, all this information can be found on our website, delco nerdnetwork.com. For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, and we will see you next time. Mm-hmm.